Hello and welcome back to Salesforce Hulk. So in earlier videos, we have completed four types of flow. Now in this video, we'll be learning about fifth type of flow that is auto launch flow. So as you all know, whatever flows we have studied till now have one thing in common that all the flows will get executed on the basis of some action like record triggered flow will get executed whenever user will take actions onto the record and same is with the platform event triggered flow as well. It will get executed whenever the message will be received from the platform. But in the case of auto launch flow, it is a subflow that will be called from other flows like screen flow or record triggered flow. Now you all must be familiar with the concept of functions or methods that we'll be writing in the programming, which we create for a repetitive task and it will take some input and will give you output after processing it. And we can call it many times from different part of code. Similarly, once we create auto launch flow, we can call it from multiple flows. Now let's understand the same with the help of an example. So uh, we are having different flows like first of all we are having screen flow and the second flow that we are having is record triggered flow right. Now the requirement is that from both the flows we need to send in email okay. So one option is that uh, we'll be sending an email, uh, we'll be using that email action individually in each flows and another and the best option is that I'll create another flow and that will be what? Auto launch flow in which we'll be sending or we'll be creating an action that will be of email. Now instead of creating these two email actions in individual, we'll be sending an email from screen flow and from record triggered flow with the help of auto launch flow. So from this, it will be taking some inputs like uh, who will be the recipients, what will be the body. And after processing this email, it will be uh, giving you the output and that will be in the form of sending an email to particular user. Now let's implement the same practically and for that we need to go to the Salesforce org. So we are here and we need to search for flows. So first I'll uh, just tell you and I'll show you that what flow we have created for screen flow. So this is the flow that we have created in which we were taking three uh, information account, contact and opportunity. And we need to send an email at the end whenever all these things are created. Okay. So for sending an email, we'll be, uh, we'll be uh, having two things. One is the recipient's email and another will be the email body. So recipient's email we'll be getting in the contact only, but we need to create the email body for that. What we need to do, we need to create a resource and we'll be going to here and we'll be clicking on news resource and this resource will be a kind of a variable or you can choose is it it is a text template we'll be going for text template because it, it will be a kind of a template uh, the whole email template right so email uh, template i'll be giving this name description and whatever the body will be so hello and if you want to insert the name last name so i'll insert the last name of that particular person uh, here is the email from subflow Okay, and at the end it will be things. Okay, so done. So we have created the resource. Now what we need to do, we need to pass these two things. One is the email and another is the body of email to the subflow. So for that, first we need to create a subflow. Uh, let me save this thing, uh, this flow, and then we'll move ahead for creating a auto launch flow. Okay, so we have saved this and we need to activate it. Uh, we have activated that. Now we'll be going to flows. In flows, again, you need to go to new flow and so we'll click on new flow and this is a screen. We'll choose the auto launch flow. You can see the no trigger flow. That means it will be called from some other flow or the APIs or any other uh, process builder, right? So we are creating this flow. Now in this flow, we need to create two variables to take the values from the other flow that was the screen flow. So we'll be creating two resources. One will be the variable. Uh, first variable will be what? Uh, the email that we'll be taking and it will be of text type. Now, please make sure to check this available for input because if you'll not be checking it, it will not be available for input in the screen flow whenever you'll be choosing it, okay? So I've done this thing. The second will be again the variable that will be email body 
and that will be the text again available for input and done. Now in this you need to uh, choose the action and we'll be choosing the action that is email, send email and send email, I'll be choosing this name, uh, body will be what? The email body that we have taken out and email list will be having the email that we are having uh, we all uh, all all the other options we have discussed already so rich text formatted we'll be making it true uh, because we want that that uh, html template or html tag should not be visible and subject will be what uh, I, i'm not taking a subject from the other flows i'm just hard coding it uh, important email okay and i'll done this thing so uh, save this thing email flow to user okay so uh, we are saving this thing and we need to activate it okay so we have activated that now again we need to go to the flow uh, thing because we need to uh, call this flow from the screen flow so here is our screen flow that is create account contact opportunity we'll just go to this and we'll open it and we'll just at the end we'll uh, have the thing and add element and we'll be adding the subflow. In subflow we'll be choosing email flow to user, this one, okay. Email flow to user and send email to user, okay. So this is the thing. Email we'll be taking, so uh, what email you'll be taking? You'll be taking email, email as in text and what you will be taking as an email body will be what whatever template you have created earlier so email template and done so we have done this thing uh, we'll save it save and we'll activate this now we'll be executing it from here only uh, to check that uh, if we are receiving an email or not before that uh, i'll just go to contact object and I'll check it, I'll check all these things that uh, have I deleted, uh, uh, do I have any duplicate contact or not with the same email ID. So I'll delete the existing records because it will not allow me to create the records with the same email ID, right? So I'll just go to here, ACC name, this is the account name. Uh, 5000 will be the number of employees. Uh, Singh will be the last name, Mohit at syntexa.com will be the email next uh, opp name close date will be something 16 and this okay and next so we'll wait and uh, again if you are coming to the same screen that means it has been successfully executed now what we'll do we'll go to email and we'll check have I, have we received the email or not so you can see that one email is there hello saying here is the email from subflow thanks so you can see that we have created the whole process in screen flow and we were calling the subflow and in that subflow what we have created we have created this whole procedure for sending an email and that's all about the auto launch flow or subflow i hope you got the clear understanding of the same if you enjoyed this video hit the like button subscribe to our channel and comment below